This video will demonstrate Wago's Profinet Remote I.O. on Siemens S7 platform. For testing, we'll use the 750-375 Profinet coupler, and we'll add some I.O. modules to this, eight channels of digital input and output, as well as two channels each of analog input and output. We'll close this node with a 750-600N module. And for testing, we'll be using Siemens S7-1200 PLC with Profinet Communications. I'm going to go ahead and wire input 1 to output 1, both in the digital and the analog. We'll be using Siemens TIA portal to configure our controller. We'll begin by creating a new project and we'll just call this Wago Remote I.O. Once a project is created, we'll then need to select our hardware by using the drop-down menus. Once our hardware is selected, then we can begin to configure uh, and jump into the project view. The first step is to install the Wago GSD files, which are available on Wago's website, wago.us. There's a link in the description of this video. Once you've installed these, they give you access to all of the Profinet and Profibus compatible I.O. available from Wago. So we'll go into Network View, and now we'll use the hardware catalog on the right to select other field devices, Profinet I.O., I.O., Wago, and expand the Wago 750-753 menu. We'll select our coupler, which is 750-375, and by double-clicking, adds it to the uh, I.O. assignment. Um, you'll notice that this is not assigned to a PLC, so we'll right-click on Not Assigned and assign it to the S7-1200 that we're using. By double-clicking on the coupler, it will take us back into the hardware catalog where we can start to add the modules, which will be on our Profinet coupler. It's important that these are added in the proper order. Unlike some other systems, Profinet is sensitive to the way that these are added, so we'll need to make sure that we add them all in the right order as they appear on the in the back plane. And once we've added all of those, uh, you'll notice that Profinet takes care of all of the addressing, and um, we'll come back to this. Now we'll need to configure the IP addresses and names of our system, so we'll begin by double-clicking on the Siemens controller, which will take us into the device view. And if we go to the Properties tab, this gives us all of the configuration properties. We'll start by making sure that we have a selected subnet, and we'll set an IP address in here. Now by right-clicking on the controller, we'll select Online and Diagnostics, and this will take us on to the actual controller settings. So we'll make sure our network settings are correct, and then we'll go ahead and expand the menu functions um, and select IP address. And one of the nice things of Profinet is it has a network scanner, so we'll scan the system and look for any accessible devices. Uh, we see our S7-1200 there, and we will go ahead and uh, apply that to this. Now by clicking Assign IP Address, uh, the IP address that we assigned in the Properties tab will be written to the controller. Uh, Profinet is based on a naming system, so we'll also need to assign a name. Uh, if you go to Assign Name, uh, it will also do a search, and we can select the same device and assign it. We're going to go through the same steps for the Profinet coupler as well. Uh, one added step here, though, once we've assigned the IP address, we'll also want to go in and enable port 80, which is um, an onboard web manager that allows us to go in and um, do, some, do some diagnostic checking and some configuration over a web browser. So following the same steps, we'll go to Online and Diagnostics, uh, search the system for the coupler, and we will select it and assign the IP address and the name in the same fashion we did as the PLC. We probably could skip assigning the IP address, however, um, it's good to be able to uh, establish outside communications with the controller to verify that everything is online. And here we've assigned the name as well. Now our Communications are all configured, and the system is ready to go online. However, we don't have any any way to test it, so we're going to just quickly um, create a, 
the tag table and tag uh, some of these inputs and outputs uh, so that we can watch them in a watch table and force the values. Now we'll select add new watch list and we'll add all of the tags that we created in our uh, tag table. So we'll compile and we're now going to write all of this information to the PLC. The PLC will then uh, handle all of the configuration of the of the coupler and all of the I.O. modules as well. It's a very nice feature of Profinet. Now in this watch table we'll go ahead and go online and we'll write the values, uh, both digital output 1 and analog output 1, and we'll see the values in return coming back on the inputs uh, respectively, and we can also monitor the status lights on the coupler as well. Thank you for watching.